Video 22 of the League of Legends grind. I started yesterday's video at rank 6, but after spending 16 hours at Corp and not getting a single drop, I did unfortunately fall to rank 10. At least I still got you guys showing amazing support on the video and in the comments every single day, keeping me and the grind going. Today is no different. I have less than 100 tasks left to complete in this league before winning it all. So let's get started. Uh, I just woke up. I'm going to do 6 minutes 20 more of Warcath kills. So maybe like 6 kills or like 10 kills. But you get the idea. And then I'm going to go do wood cutting while I edit the video. All right, well, that's done. It's time to go wood cut and edit this video and just be depressed. I pretty much slept like 15 hours straight after the last video. And when I woke up, I've just been doing wood cutting AFK for like four and a half hours now while I've been watching the Lakers finals NBA game and getting the video up, putting it up, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't really know what the plan is today. I don't know if I want to go for RNG tasks or for KC tasks or if I want to do clues or anything. Right now, I'm just getting wood cutting. I'm somewhat close to 25 mil wood cutting, and I have like 9.5k or 8.5k uh, anima bark, and there's like a 80 point task from 10k bark, which is the slowest points per hour task ever. So while I finish up this Lakers game uh, versus Indiana, I'll probably just keep wood cutting. Maybe it'll get me to 25 mil. Maybe that'll get me some logs for planks I can use for 25 mil construction too. And we could start getting some points and work towards 75k and above here or there. And then maybe we go for some RNG shit, who knows. If you guys want to know how to get 75,000 points of League of Legends like me, it's all with the Didabitter branded coffee mug. This shit is insane. Go get yours at didabitter.com. Thought I might change up the ad for my own merch this time around. You guys have been very supportive with it so far. Over 50 of you guys have bought something. A lot of the clothing has been sold, but you guys seem to love the coffee mugs as well. So go to didabitter.com. I don't know how many more leagues videos I'm going to have to push this in. And if you guys want to support me, it's the best way. I think I have enough planks to get me to 25 mil construction now. So I'm probably going to do teaks for the rest of this wood cutting level because it's going to be faster. Get me to 25 mil a little bit quicker, obviously. And I can also use teak planks for construction eventually. I only need 500 more anima infused bark or whatever. And I need two more, more wood cutting XP. So I'll definitely get that before I get the wood cutting. All right, nice. We just got to 10,000 anima infused bark off that thing. So I should be able to get the two handed axe or whatever it is for 80 points soon. Um, I'm only at 1 mil XP off this level, so I'm just going to stay here until I get it. I'm about to get 6 hour logged. I got 900k more XP to go. Just got fucking nerd logged, dude. Okay, I just realized I need 500 oak logs, and I don't know if I have that. So let's go figure out a way to get that on our way to 25 mil wood cutting. I'm going to sell these onyx balls just in case I need cash or miscellaneous or something. 6.6 .6 mil. Okay, a bunch of maple logs. I kind of need to change my resource allocation. If I can get more hardwood, I think that would be the move now. Yep. We'll do mahogany. Boom. There's still an 80 point task I haven't gotten that pretty much everyone else has gotten to pull a magic seed from a bird's nest. I'm just getting the bird's nest from miscellaneous now. I'm not doing any more birdhouse runs. But unfortunately, we just used 16 bird's nest and did not get it. I'm just going to go chop these 500 oak logs in Draenor. These 500 oak logs will get me around 25 mil wood cutting exactly, so that's kind of perfect. 25 million wood cutting, 200 points, 74,640. I need 50 more oak logs. This is literally all I've been doing all day after sleeping 15 hours, just chopping trees. It's been kind of nice, you know, it's been kind of nice. Let's get 50 more oak logs. Okay, that should be 500 oak logs. Let's go get this bread. Felon axe handle, nice. I'm not going to use this on the dragon axe just in case. I somehow get a smoldering stone from a hellhounds one day. Unless I have more than one axe, but I think I would have alk them. Oh, I do have more than one axe. Okay, fair enough. Use. You need to be near an anvil. Okay, my bad, bruh. My bad. I literally went to the drain or sewer anvil. I'm still, I'm next to an anvil. You should select an item from your inventory. This cannot be undone. All good with me, mate. I've got another one right here. What the hell? Dragon Felon Axe. God damn, it's a two-handed axe. 80 points. Looks really cool, actually. I've never seen that in game before. 74,720 points. What does that do for us in terms of ranks? Absolutely nothing, because we can't get any drops. But it's nice, I guess, because a cold one just jumped up a bunch of points. All right, let's get some cash. We're going to go make a bunch of mahogany logs. All right, I need four, nine, seven, six mahogany planks to get to 25 mil construction. So let's go do that. Alrighty. Da, da, da. This should be chilling. Yep. Alright, we're going resizable actually again. Oh, bro, I thought the frog thing was for me, dude. No. 
All right, that's enough logs. Let's get to it. All right, let's get to it. My screen looks disgusting, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, we might need to make something else because that only got us to 20. I need to use these two logs somehow. Let me go into a normal thingy majiggy. Oh shit, I forgot to record, but I use literally oak planks because I only made enough mahogany planks and I can't use two for anything that I can see. 74,920 points, 25 million construction. Let's go. This actually does get us a rank from rank 12 to 11. Woo. Now, if only we could get some drops. I have 16 games necklaces still made. Maybe I'll go use all that at Corp and see if I can get a drop. I've already spent around 16 hours at Corp getting the 250 KC for the 480 points that it offers. Really bad points per hour if you don't get a sigil, which is a 1 in 117 drop, which of course I did not get. But you know how it is, like, I, I need to get a sigil. I'm just going to stay here until I use these game necklaces, and I'm going to get an arcane or an Ellie. First kill past the KC requirements. Arcane sigil. Oh, magic box. Oh my god. I got another spirit shield. I was just saying it's some 50 cent, my bad. 274 KC. I got another spirit shield. Which means, I don't know, it means I technically could go for both the Arcane and the Ellie, but obviously I'm at 274 KC and I've got neither, so yeah. Okay, this will probably be my last kill because this is my last game's necklace, 280 KC probably. Alright, that's going to be 280 KC, probably my last kill for a little bit. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, to be fair. Green Dragonhide. Amazing. Alright, I might go work on 50 mil smithing because I can just do it at Blast Furnace now. It should take a little bit over two hours. Just need some cash to buy the gold ore with because I've only got 2.8k. Or 2.4k, and I need like 17k or something. Alright, shout out Court for the Onyx Bolts, I guess. That is enough cash to get all the gold ore I need. Alright, let's get let's get gold ore in. Okay, that should be enough gold ore, but I actually can't be bothered to do it tonight. I'm gonna go to sleep again. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna go try and set up myself for thieving for the thieving pit. Alright, I've woken up. I have to play RuneScape again. You know how it is. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go do the thieving. The thieving, the fucking, the smithing. I'm gonna go get 50 mil smithing. Alright, some more blast furnace time. 50 million smithing XP, getting me over 75,000 points for the first time. Let's go, that only took like an hour or two. I'm gonna say two, I don't know why I said an hour. Um, I don't know what's next. Do I go for 300 muspa, 300 sire, or do I go for some RNG toss, or do I do some clues? I couldn't tell you. Maybe I'll look for a sire task. Okay, boom. 75,000 points. All right, Abyssal Demons, let's go. I'm at 150 Sire KC. The last KC task is at 300, which will probably take from like five to eight hours, depending on how good I am and how efficient I am. Very brain numbing. And I hopped every single Australian world, and I'm from New Zealand, if you guys didn't know. And I even hopped some US worlds, and every single one was busy, and I, I just was not bothered. So I'm gonna have to figure out something else to do, I guess. Back like I never left, I made a bunch more games necklaces, and it's time to go back to Corp. 300 KC at Corp, still nothing. We're just gonna stay here forever. 323 kill count, and I get my third Spirit Shield, which is a 1 in 64 drop. Doesn't do anything for me whatsoever, but yeah, that's the only drop I've gotten in the past couple kills. No way, I got a Spectral, dude. I finally got a Spectral, 324 KC. Let's go. Oh my god. Now you just need Ellie and you're done, right? Unironically. Unironically, oh. yes. I mean, well, the arcane would have been 600 points because of the wars, so technically, even if I get that, uh, I got points. Oh, fuck, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. I'm not gonna stay here for another one. How do I even make it? That's pretty much the worst sigil I could get out of the three, and it's almost at three times the drop rate. Three times the drop rate would be 351. I spent countless hours here. But hey, it is 400 points, so we'll take it. I might go back to Corp at some other point, because if I get the Arcane, it's another 200 points for the Elodinus Ward. And if I get the Ellie, it's another 400 points. If I got the Ellie or Arcane, then it would be really nice. But it is what it is. 75,520 points. Let's go. Nancy says go for the back-to-back. -back. Obviously, the Arcane and the Spectral have the same drop rate of 3 and 7, and the Ellie has a drop rate of 1 and 7. If I got the Arcane, it's 600 points, and you can kind of just come back and hope you get the Ellie as your next sigil. And if I got the Ellie, no matter what, I would have stick, stuck around for another sigil, because the odds of getting it would have been very good, and gotten me close to 1,000 points. I go for the back-to-back, -back, obviously, but I got Runite Bolts. 
I think I'm gonna try and learn some one tick, two tick, suck my dick, three tick hunter shit. So yeah, we might go for 50 mil hunter. I was using herbs and tar initially, but I only had 15 tar and one herb. And you know I messed up right away, so that didn't really work out. Found it pretty decent using a mahogany log for a mahogany stock. And obviously if I mess up, I just have quite a few mahogany logs banked in noted form. So I can just try again. I did try and learn one ticking, which is apparently like 10 to 13 mil XP an hour on leagues but it was just too hard for me and three tickets seemed pretty simple and it was still seven mil XP an hour for me. So going all the way to 50 mil was pretty viable. I just got 25 mil on Hunter, shout out the three ticket uh, method. Probably gonna stay here till 35 mil cause it'll take less than two hours. 75,720 points. Okay, and this is gonna be 35 mil on Hunter. I'll probably come back here for 50 mil actually. I'm a two tick, three tick master, dude. I could have been one tick of them for like 10 mil XP an hour or something, but I'm not that talented. 75,920 points. Let's take rank 10 back. There's only one drop from TOA, which I haven't gotten yet, which is a point task, and that is the fossilized dung. You need to die in every single room in a team raid, apparently, and have less than 1,500 points to get it. So one more time, Jake Upton, Scape will be carrying us. But this time, it's in an entry level mode, and I just die in every room. Yo, new PB, dude. Let's go. That better have a fossilized dung, dude. I have minus 6622 points. Yes! Obtain fossilized dung, 10 points, dude. Shout out, Mr. Upton. Shout out, shout out. Did you just see what Brad just said? What did he say? Alright, let's use yellow dye, red dye, orange dye, red cape. 10 points for dying to cape orange. Gotta save those points. We're ranked 10 again. Okay, boom. 75,940 cheeky points over Iron Chemic. Not sure what we're gonna do now, whether we go for some RNG tasks or, some, or for some confirmed. All right, I'm watching Perp and his mates do a Centaurian, which is 100 shots of beer in 100 minutes. So I'm just gonna do the Hunter while I do it. Fucking hell, dude. This guy's gonna get arrested by the stream. Someone actually attacked me and killed me at Chin's. Big respect to him, you know, keeping the PK and alive. It was a very good fight. If you guys feel sorry for me, Please consider subscribing to the channel. It's the best thing to support me, and it means you never miss a video. Hit that sub button. He killed me, bro. What a rat num. Oh, what? Dude, I thought I'd even lose the chins. I even kept them. That's crazy. All right, that has been the most hilarious perp stream I've ever watched, and it's gotten me all the way to 50 mil hunter. If you know, you know. 76,140 points, still rank 10. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I need to get some dinner. But as you guys know, I have the most pets in Trailblazer League. I have no idea how long I'm going to have this record for, so I better cl clickbait it today because who knows when someone's going to take it from me. 75940 to 76140. I think I'm going to do some fletching while I do some agility at the same time. Cut some of these uh, magic logs into arrow shafts um, while doing some agility because I'm very close to 50 mil. And there's a ta there's an 80 point task to do 250 laps. All right, it's eating time. I'm at 47.67 mil agility. We'll come back later and finish it. I'm just going to do some wood cutting, I think. All right, I think I'm going to go back, get back to agility now. Hopefully, these 250 laps will get us to 50 mil. Shit, I didn't realize that I've done laps at other places. That makes a lot of sense. 76,220 points. Don't have to go all the way to 250 relic laps. I was kind of hoping I would have to, though, because I'm at 49.5 mil agility XP. So 500k more agility XP and I get 50 mil. But there's no reason to just run laps when I have the greaves, so I need to figure something out. Alright, let's hit the refresh. We are still ranked 10, 76,220 points. As you guys can see, if you go into Wikisync and you type my name in and you show all the regions that I have, it shows that I've already completed 853 tasks and I've only got 123 left to do. And that probably means that there's only going to be a couple more episodes of this series, so I do appreciate all the support this far. Um, however, there's not actually 123 tasks I can do. There's a bunch of tasks in general and in pretty much all the regions that you can't actually do. So like I said at the start of this video, there is less than 100 tasks for me to do. And at this point, it could honestly be less than 70, less than 60. I have no idea. I figured I'd probably only have like one, two, three, maybe four more videos of this league to go. So I'll probably just walk through all the tasks now and show you guys what I can do. So enter Pura Pura from Gilinor, I can do. That's one task. Um... Obtain a casket from fishing. That's another task. I can't kill a necromancer as you guys can see you need Kandarin or Karend. I can't plant seeds in an allotment patch. A lot of you guys have commented throughout the series. Why don't you go plant this? I, it was such a struggle watching you do this for Herbler XP when you had these seeds in your bank. Motherfuckers, I can't use an allotment patch as you guys can see. It's not in my regions. 
I can't steal some silk either. I can't get sent to Port Serum Jail. I can turn in a Winter Squirt Truce to Osmond, so that's three. Charm Gertrude, you need more Tania. I can't do that. Taste of Dorgishin Delicacy, I can do that. All the clue scrolls I am going to be able to do, so 150 easy clue scrolls, I can do that. 150 medium clue scrolls, I can do that. So that's six tasks so far. Um, all of the Mahogany Homes contracts that are in the general task list, I can't do because you need Asgarnia. I can't complete the easy Western Province Diary as well, obviously, because I don't have access to that, those regions. Nor can I do the medium Western Provinces Diary. The Frog Mask, I did miss out on during this video, which is very, very sad. Um, I don't know if I showed it in the video. But there was, I think I was doing corp or something else, and I was just a little bit too AFK in the brain, and I didn't talk to the person fast enough. Um, fill a bucket with super compost. Once again, I do not have the regions to do that. Um, and for fully depleting a blood essence, I don't have Mauritania or Kandarin either. I don't know what's going on with my scroll right now. Give me one second. Light a bullseye ant. Light a bullseye lantern. I can't do. I can do. I mean, equip the amulet of eye under the portal. I can do. Equip the Ring of Elements, I can do. Obtain the Big Harpoon Fish, I can do. I don't know whether I'm going to do, but uh, I can do. I guess I gotta go to 200 Temporos anyway. Reach the Lighthouse by the Stepping Stones, I cannot do because I need Kandarin. Equip the Tribal Mask and Brutus Shield, I can do. I can't do the Mithril Gloves. I can do the Forestry Basket. I can do the Puffer Fish. I can do the Dark Chest, I have no idea what that is, but I'll figure it out. The Enriched Bones I should have done by now, I don't know what I'm doing with that one. I'm kind of trolling. 150 elite clue scrolls I will be doing, 150 hard clue scrolls I will be doing, 25 master clue scrolls I will be doing, 20, 75 elite clue scrolls I will be doing. Once again, Mahogany Homes can't do it all. Black Dehyde Shield, I did think I could do at some point. You need Redwood Logs to create the Black Dehyde Shield, and I'm simply incapable of getting those. A full gilded or trimmed wizard set somehow. I don't know if you guys were watching my early videos. I was just getting trolled on all my clue scrolls, but... As I go to the Clue Skull Milestones, I will be able to do that, and it's 80 points regardless, so I will do that. The full Gilded set is a bit of a questionable one, but Maz seems to think people can go for it, so I'm just going to put that as Task 22 question mark, but it is obviously very rare. I did get a Third Age Full Helmet, to be fair. A Full Vestment set is something I've gotten unlucky on too, but that is the 23rd task I can do. The Magic Seed from the Bird's Nest is something I got unlucky on, I can do that as well. 200 Tempros kills I can do, Colossal Rune Pouch I can do, KQ 150 times I can do, I just don't want to. Um, Abyssal Lantern I can do, Guardians of the Rift closed 100 times I can do, Guardians of the Rift closed 50 times I can do, the 25 Autumn Squirk Juices, Muspa 150 times. I cannot do the full Angler's Outfit unfortunately because I can't even access the Fishing Trawler. I can do the Varric Hard Diary which is Task 33 but I can't do the Elite one. 10 muddy chests I can do, once again, I just don't know if that's worth the points, but I can do. I can't do any of these combat achievement points, as you guys know, I kind of got screwed with my regions. I think I'm at around 780 combat achievement points right now. I can't even get to 800 for those 200 points. I can't get to 820 for the elite tier for 400 points. And I also can't get to 200 combat achievements, and I'm on like 194. I can only do four more, so I can't even get those 200 points, unfortunately. So all of these combat achievement ones I can't do. 75 Master Clue Scrolls, I actually think I can do. Um, combat Achievements I can't do, obviously. The Speed Toss, I'm at 18 out of 20. There's no more I can do in my region, unfortunately. The 200 Slayer Toss, I can do. I'll probably do that after I finish Sire. Uh, I can't do the Elite Western Provinces Dire, obviously. Can't do the Full Dragon Set. I can do the Heavy Casket. I can do the Scroll Sack. Um, Infernal Tool, I actually can do. The Infernal Tool, you need a Smoldering Stone from Cerberus, obviously, but you can also get it as a 1 in like 32k drop from Hellhounds. So technically, I can do that, and honestly, I might AFK Hellhounds at some point to do it. Um, the Mask of Rebirth, I unfortunately cannot do. Eviescape was trying to coach me through it, and then he realized that I need Kandarin to go to Apatol. So even though I've done all the TOA, I actually can't get the Mask of Rebirth. I can get the Soul Reaper Axe, I have two out of the four pieces. I can fill 51, uh, fill 25 Master Clue Collection Log slots, and then I can do all of these XP milestones as well. 25 mil fishing, 25 mil fletching, 25 mil herblore, 25 mil mining, 35 mil construction, 35 mil uh, fishing, 35 mil fletching. I've messed up my mass here. 35 mil herblore. Okay, so there are going to be more than 50 tasks. Maybe my mass is a bit off. I was just estimating. 35 mil mining. 35 mil woodcutting, 35 mil agility, 35 mil construct, or 50 mil construction. Those are all, I don't know why I'm saying 35 mil still. 
Uh, 50 mil. I actually have a lot of 50 mils, which is pretty cool. 50 million fletching. I want to say maybe I miss fishing, so I'll do 54. 55 for herb lore, 56 for mining, and 57 for wood cutting. That's all the 50 mils. Obtain a skilling pet. I'll probably do just through AFK Thieving Tazars. I think it's like a 1 in 1 70k drop, or maybe 2 70k, but you can do it. What is a clueless scroll come from? Okay, yeah, I can do that. 400 mediums. I can do the clueless scroll. Transfer him into Yuri. I can do. Use the Explorer mode. One of these is for a master. I don't know which one it is. Um, but it doesn't seem to be anyone because I can do the Explorer mode as well. So that's 61 tasks left to do. Tomes of a mask it 150 to 250 times. Take around 40 hours if I have a full team and I'm doing like 10 minute raids. But I actually can do it. So I'm going to put it on the list. Awaken Leviathan, I do feel I can do. Either way, it's a task that I can't do. Full set of the Raymond of the Eye, 65. Aladinus Ward, <laughs> I need to get an Arcade Sigil, so I don't know about that one, but I can do it. Awaken Duke, 67. Muspa, 300 times, 68. The Bone Crusher Necklace, you need more Tanya for. Dragonfire Ward, obviously, we're trying to get right now, because that's a huge point leap for us. Making 50 for Garden Bruise is a bit of an iffy one, because I need to get the Bruise from Muspa. And getting 50 drops and 300 kills is pretty unlikely. Most people get it from next, but hey, I'm going to put it on the list because it is technically possible. Defeating Sire 300 times is possible. Can't do the forestry outfit, obviously, because I can't get redwood logs. Um, build an obelisk. Somehow I didn't get any obelisk pieces for my revs grind, which is really bad RNG. As was my Void Waker RNG because obviously the drops weren't boosted at the start, but that's 73. 750 collection log slots. I want to say I can do. I'm not sure if it's possible with my regions, but I'm just going to say it's possible because I don't know. It's 400 points I'd like to get at some point. Can't do the elite tier, obviously. Can't do the master tier. Can't equip a dragon plate body or dragon kite shield. Full Virtus, I still need to get. It's not possible to equip a full set of Missouri Fortified. I don't have access to a Garnia for armor. And something tells me I'm not going to get five armor pieces from those things you kill in clues, which is just completely impossible. Uh, every God Book is 76. Every Draconical Shield is 77. The League Special Challenge is 78. The Eternal Glory is 79. And the Elijah Spirit Shield is 80. So at the point of this video, there are 80 more tasks for me to do until I fully complete the League. I'll definitely be able to do this by the end of the year. And yeah, that's what we have left to do. Alright, I'm going to do some Vorkath with these Greaves on. Obviously, the final KC task for Vorkath was 300 KC for 200 points. But there's a 1 in 1k drop for the Skeletal Visage. And I already have the Ancient Wyvern Shield and the Dragonfire Shield. So wearing the Dragonfire Ward alone, which I get from Vorkath, is 200 points. But wearing every single Dragonfire Shield is 400 points. So if I do spoon that drop somehow, you know, I get lucky somewhere in the game. That is 600 points in one tick. So it's huge for me. And it's something I'll probably work on every single day until I get it. Okay, and that was going to be my 400th kill here at Vorkath. I might stop it here for now. 1 in 1k drop rate for the Skeletal Visages. I've probably said a million times. But I'm probably going to go to sleep now for a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to get this video up tomorrow. I don't know what kind of content I have. And I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow. But yeah. Can't be bothered picking all this shit up to be honest. Guys, the number one rule of YouTube is to clickbait. But still sell a good product with the video. Still make a good video. I don't know if the, today's video was a good video. I'll be very honest with you guys. But hey, I haven't clickbaited having the most pets in leagues yet. So I'm going to do it today. Even though I didn't get a single pet in today's league. I've actually only played three out of the four leagues as well, but I'm like 100% sure I have the most pets out of everyone as it stands. I know Coxie's going for all pets, so he is probably going to overtake me at some point. So I better clickbait this video like this before, you know, it's too late. These are all the pets I have. Dagonoff Supreme, Grador, Baby Mole, Kraken, Chompy Chick, Venonatus, sick pet by the way. Heron, Skotos, The Nibbler, Lil Zik, Lil Nightmare, Vedion, Jad, Orphan, and The Creator, which I got from Soul Wars this time. 15 out of the 56 pets. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully there'll be some better content in the next one. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, and obviously go to didabitter.com to buy my merch and support me further. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.